Hello everyone, greetings of the day. Myself Ankit Sharma and I welcome all of you in Baichu's exam prep. So guys, this session is about challenging the questions which are being asked in GATE 2022 Civil Engineering exam, whether it would have been your morning session or evening session. So basically we are going to discuss basically the questions which are to be challenged in both the sessions. There are two questions which are to be challenged in morning session and there is one question which is to be challenged in afternoon session. So guys, I have brought a detailed explanation session on that. So you may please take the benefit of it. So let us start the session. Before that, I would like to introduce myself. I am Ankit Sharma, an ex-IES officer having teaching experience more than 12 years. So guys, before moving to the question, I would like to tell you that please subscribe our Baiju's exam prep ES and GATE channel because if you subscribe our channel, then you will be getting the updates about job, notifications and such informative videos and many other motivation sessions also. So guys, please do subscribe our channel. So let us move to the first question. So guys, this was the question. This was the question asked in morning shift. That is the hoop stress at a point on the surface of a thin cylinder. Pressure vessel is to be uh, computed to be 30 MPa, right? So the hoop stress is 30 MPa, the value of maximum shear stress at this point. Now the point is this, basically the gate has given the answer as option A, but according to me or with Baiju's exam prep team, the answer is coming as option B. Why? Let me explain you. So guys, basically we know the fact that basically in case of thin cylinder, right? Whether it is the case of shell uh, or it is a case of cylinder. So please try to understand that basically there are two maximum. One is tau max in plane. One is tau max in plane and another is tau max absolute. Now, if we calculate tau max in plane, then the formula for it that is sigma hoop minus sigma L by 2 that comes as PD by AT or PD by AT basically we are knowing the fact that basically PD by 2T is by sigma hoop which is given as how much 30 MPa in the question, right? So basically it will become what sigma hoop by 4. So that comes 75, 7.5 MPa. So that is the answer given by the gate. But there is one more condition to this that is basically tau max absolute and tau max absolute there are three cases of it and out of them basically we have to take the maximum value. So one case is sigma hoop minus P by 2. So P is basically my pressure in the vessel which will be very very less in comparison to the hoop stress or the longitudinal stress because the thickness is very less. So this P value this P value will come out to be 0 over here 0 over here right. So if we calculate this value will come out 15 7.5 and third one is sigma h minus sigma l by 2. So out of these three values we have to select the maximum and that comes out to be 15 MPa. So our answer would be option B instead of option A. So guys you can challenge this question. You can challenge this question definitely you should go for because basically there is a doubt between that what would be the answer answer would be a or answer would be b but the maximum means maximum right either in plane or absolute so we have to go for the absolute maximum so definitely you can challenge this right thereafter the next question comes of irrigation right in this question what is the difficulty actually the data is insufficient actually the data is insufficient why the data is insufficient Please read the question that basically in the question it is being told that over here during a particular stage of the crop during a particular stage of the crop consumptive use is 2.8 mm per day and what is being asked the interval between irrigation. So interval between irrigation is nothing but that is my frequency of irrigation. So frequency of irrigation is the total consumptive use by the crop during its growth period divided by consumptive use per day and that we denote by letter d dash. So guys basically now the d dash can be written either by this formula or this is the formula that is the root zone depth into percentage of allowable moisture content to be consumed in the root zone. So that information is not given in the question as we can see the amount of water available in the soil is 50% of maximum depth of available water. 
right the amount of water available in the root zone is 50 percent of maximum depth of available water in the root zone so basically point is this how much is the available depth of water that is not being given in the question right so guys that's why since the data is insufficient we cannot solve this question and therefore basically gate has to award marks to you right gate has to award marks to you one marks to all the person in the morning shift so guys please definitely go for this question thereafter the next question is from afternoon session and basically this question belongs to strength of material now gate has given the answer as a but according to me the answer would be star there is no answer to this right how because in this question it is being asked that or let me move to right okay fine on next slide we have a solution so let me check what is being asked at first so let us try to understand this so basically the major and minor principal stresses are sigma 1 and sigma 3 fine respectively considering the compressive stresses as positive fine which of the following expression correctly represents the angle between the major principal stress plane and the horizontal plane right so we need to determine the angle between the major principal stress plane and the horizontal plane many people have been giving answer for this and justifying the answer as a but the answer a will come with basically vertical plane not with the horizontal plane so guys please try to understand this so if i draw the more circle of this right this is my element if i draw the more circle of this this would be my more circle right and this is my tangent line at point a this is my tangent line at point a clear guys now basically in this case we know that angle OAT this is my point T right angle OAT that will be 90 degree because that is the basically this is the diameter or OA is my radius this angle would be 90 degree clear guys and further after that basically angle TAD right this angle TAD this angle would be theta and angle OAC OAC this angle will be 90 minus 2 theta now what is being asked basically the the question which is asked in the exam that is the angle between the horizontal plane and maximum principal stress plane right so that angle comes out to be theta that angle comes out to be theta so tan theta would be equal to CD by AC tan theta would be equal to cd by ac and from this more circle we can find out that basically cd would be my sigma 1 minus sigma z right this would be my sigma 1 minus sigma z because this is my more circle and ac is nothing but that is my tau xy so guys please go for the challenge of this question also it will be helpful to all those people who have answered this question wrongly in afternoon session so guys that's all from our side from Baiju's exam prep we are always in service of you guys we are striving for your success thanks a lot everyone and guys the last but not the least if you want any kind of help such kind of help from our team then you can also join me on my telegram channel that is civil by Ankit sir so that's all guys from my side Jai Hind